All right, this is something that happened in 2017. It, it's it's a while back, but the reason I'm bringing it up today is because the results are in. Oh, oh. The results are in? <laughs> what happened? So this happened in Nashville. There's this, uh, she's a relatively successful singer. Her name is Katie Lane, uh, originally from Texas. She gets into her Porsche that's parked on the street. Uh, the engine noise and the fumes disturb like a nearby homeless guy who's chilling there. And he asks her like, hey, can you move? And then uh, she gets out. And as he's walking away, she shoots him twice. Oh. Um, she just cold, kill, cold kills a homeless man for asking her? He didn't die. He didn't die. So she shoots him twice and then proceeds to, like most people, go to Taco Bell. And then oh. um, the guy ends up, you know, um, he ends up surviving after like extensive surgeries. Back then, 2017, she was originally charged with attempted first degree murder, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, as you do. Mm -hmm. Um, and today, she is found guilty of nothing more than reckless endangerment. What in the fuck? Wow. Because it's Texas? I don't know. It's some backward shit, right? Oh, at least she has bad aim. I thought that was Cali. Oh. But then in Cali, you would probably get the death penalty for shooting a homeless person. But here, I was like, how the fuck did this happen? Because it's the opposite. I think in it's California, opposite. if you get assaulted, then you go to jail. But in Texas, <laughs> yeah. you, cold, you, you murder somebody in cold blood. And then whole, the whole family goes to jail. And then you become celebrated. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. What does she look like? I got to see a picture. Oh, great. These are never going to go well when you... Here we go. I got to see what she looks like. She looks like a Kardashian. She... 100%. I wouldn't expect her to shoot a homeless guy. No. Definitely not. But I do expect her to eat That's Taco sarcasm. Bell afterwards. Nah, so. dude. She doesn't look crazy. Bro. Yeah, Taco Bell definitely makes sense to that. Yeah. She looks like she loves the number three at Taco Bell. <laughs> Which one's the number three? I think it's the Chalupa. Chalupas. It's Chalupas, mm, dude. Yeah. It's a good order. So here's the sentence the that she... pizza just came back. <laughs> Bumped it down a little so here's bit. Here's the sentence that she actually gets. 11 months and 21, 29 days of probation. What? That's it? Holy shit. Was there something here like the story was different from what we're told? Like, let's say like the first story is, oh, the homeless man just said move. And then the second story was, oh no, he actually was like, assaulting her so she had to shoot him no and so it just gets all yeah. mixed up and she, shit she had um there was a witness in her she had another person in her car so that's the person that was that able to corroborate her. not told on her but like <laughs> but like she claims that she was just trying to scare him away because she felt threatened mm -hmm. even though he was unarmed and you know um i just think it's pretty fucking remarkable that she actually did hit him. She shot him twice. Yeah, he and showed him. no remorse getting a fucking chalupa afterwards. Yeah. Maybe it's because he's homeless though. It's like, oh, well, he's just a homeless guy, so then that could, that could be different. Like he's gonna recover? Well, our, no, our society doesn't really care about homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's expand on that. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, I'm, I'm curious where your mind is. We step, crafty, over, we step over homeless people, we walk around, and then we drive around them. Like yeah. maybe it's just some, sh some just the, the general shit that we do already. Whoa. Yeah, the judge is like, oh, I mean, we could have got rid of one more, but that would have been easy, but, you know. Right. People I mean, treat pigeons better than they treat homeless people. Exactly. That's true. Because people pigeons. think about grabbing bread so they can give to pigeons later. <laughs> and they're like, oh, don't feed the homeless. No, no, no. No, no, it just makes them angry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you give them rice for that? <laughs> yeah. All right. So the crazy thing to me is like, I in my head, I don't know if this is just my wrong impression. Here in Cali, it's pretty fucking severe to fuck with homeless people. Like, law-wise, I think you get kind of you're screwing yourself over a little bit because it's a punch down. Yeah. I thought. But remember when they they gave homeless people like tiny homes, and then the city ended up taking them away because they're like these are probably like a fire hazard or some shit. <laughs> Seems like the city like pretends like they love homeless people, but then they don't. Yeah. yeah. Well, because they had to do work, right? So, oh, we already built it. Are we gonna disband this uh, sector? No, wait. Let's make more work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> take them apart. Put them back together. Yeah. Take them apart. Yeah, it's perpetual. But I, I, I really was genuinely surprised that this happened. So that's the loophole. If you ever shoot anybody, just be like, well, I was feeling threatened by a homeless man. I was just trying to scare them off. Homeless or not, because it sounds like you could just yeah. shoot. People. I think maybe she just got a really good jury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her side, yeah. Do you think she had a really good sob story or something? What do you think? Like, she looks like she cries in court. She looks like she just finished crying. The, um, the main things that she does say that they're not that sobby is that like, so she was, she's was she been wrapped in this case for like five years. You said she's a musician, right? Yeah, she's a singer. It's probably, her music is just, it's probably really They're good. all fat. <laughs> it's really good. Because yeah, music can 
mm. make you overlook anybody, really. Yep. Everyone's like, they probably use the R. Kelly fucking music debate versus the stuff that he did in real life. That's what they probably R. Kelly, her. R. Kelly would've got away with it if he didn't do all his new albums. Yeah. <laughs> ruined his legacy. Yeah, ruined yeah, yeah. The Trapped in a Closet saga just really did yeah, it for me. Yeah. See, well, Michael, MJ got away with it. All, all Michael did, he just did remasters. He didn't do exactly. new shit. He just was like, all right, I'll just make this a little bit better. You don't want to sully it. You don't want to sully your brand image. Yeah, no, no. Right, I didn't think of it that way. That's he, bad he, music he, business. He, he, he did the This Is okay. It. Yeah. Shut up, dude. No, no, no. She did say that... Um, but he didn't do it, that's why. Yeah, that's she did say that she feels like socially she's been convicted. Because, like, she kind of can't really... You know, so many people hate her. Really? Yeah. Why? And they kind of also hate that she's getting away with it. So it's like, she's like, hey, like, I'm fucked career-wise anyway, so... maybe She could move. She can move. <laughs> she can move. She can move. <laughs> There's Taco Bells everywhere. I'm sure if you're in Nashville and you're a singer, you're probably a specific type of singer where you should probably be in Nashville. Yeah. That's your demographic. Yeah. Um, she she could change her genre. I want to hear her music now. She does country. I'm guessing she does something that would thrive in Nashville, so it's probably not drum and bass. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, she can do more like that fucking, what's his name? The gangster ass country guy, not James Dean. Lil Nas X? No, the fucking, the, the, the guy that they did a movie about him and he's talking about the fucking Folsom Prison Blues. Oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny Cash. Cash. Mr. Cash, she could do the Mrs. Cash shit. Lil Nas X. I shot a homeless <laughs> man, bitch. That, 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 that. It oh, does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that does right. have a, a Johnny yeah. Cash vibe to it. Like Johnny Cash was here for a second. Because <laughs> yeah. he killed a man in fucking Reno just to watch him die, right? Yeah. So, like, yeah. now she. Yeah. I fucking Evil shot a homeless fun. man at Taco Bell just to see <laughs> him kind of run away. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. It, um, it's not lyrically strong, but yeah. it's true. <laughs> it's in the works. Yeah, she, um, funny thing is, you know, when, when someone's up for a uh, for trial, they start bringing up other shit they've done to, yeah. like, kind of sway the opinion. Oh, Some of these things sound really funny. It's like, during the trial, the jury heard that once she had threatened to harm a child with a brick and made threats against people, including her mother, and poured water on a woman in a restaurant. Like, these little side things are That's hilarious. so funny. Just to, like, diminish her character. character yeah, care, yeah. She That's can be Lady Cash. It's like Snoop Dogg, after he had that murder case, he had the fucking song, and he came out with that album. Murder was the case that they came in. And then, so, she could do that shit, too. And you might be saving her career. I, yeah. Hey, if you're watching this, you should be her lawyer. I will manage you. Her name's Katie Quackenbush. Go ahead and talk to Katie wow. Quackenbush. She should just be a rapper now. That's her real name. That's her real name. We're going to rebrand it. Yeah, we need, quack, a, we need a stage name. Quack, quack Attack. We're going to call her the Quack Attack. All right? Yeah. And then, pat, 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 Quack Attack. Okay. Yeah. And wow. you, your your whole genre now is like, well, country's almost like hip hop. Hip hop. It's just white people talking about like ghetto white people stuff. And mud. White people yeah. stuff. And, and yeah. driving. And they even have rapping sometimes in country music. Brrr. Yep. I mean, and then all she's got to do now is just be the lady Johnny Cash. Shoo! Yeah. Right. As, I, I, as I have been saying. There you go, Katie. Yeah. That's your answer. Yeah, That's I how just, you figure it we'll out. We'll just talk about gangster shit. You're welcome. I yeah. honestly think anybody in the world can write a country music song. It's the easiest shit ever to write. A lot of yeah, stuff about trucks. And my white t-shirt. Yeah. It's fun though. She's Do you like country? She's only 32. Oh, no, I hate country. It's awful. <laughs> I'm a bluegrass kind of guy and I don't think it's the same. You like that twang. Bluegrass is great. Yep. I love it. If she's complaining about the social part of it, she could just like chill in jail. That's true. She's out. She's free. <laughs> chill in jail. You know what I mean? It's like she's off the hook. Like that's crazy. Great alternatives. 11 and a half <laughs> months of just probation. Yeah. I want to know more about the story about her threatening a kid with a brick. That, that film was more interesting. And I want to know what she ordered a Taco Bell after that incident. <laughs> the number three, the Chalupa. She always goes Chalupa. Yeah, sure. I, I don't know. I'm oh, sure that's right. what people were discussing in jury deliberation. What did she order? I'm going to look up if Taco Bell's number three is really the Chalupa. <laughs> <laughs> you just want him to be wrong? It's a rebranding. One of her songs should be called Chalupa Bullets. Chalupa, Chalupa Bullets. Bullets. And how she got a street cred from shooting somebody, some guy outside of Taco Bell. Street cred, that's album number two. That's um, I'm still really surprised. I'm duck hunting at Taco Bell. <laughs> Can we hear one of her tracks, like a sneak peek? Reckless Endangerment. 